So about a year ago, I took a trip down the I-5 to Hood River, Oregon, and amongst the various breweries that I visited that day and enjoyed the offerings of was Ferment Brewing Company. Uh, just last week then, I found at a local bottle shop at Spud's Market in Tumwater, I found the Ferment Brewing Company's Kolsch, part of their Bottom Ferment series. So the Kolsch beer originates, I believe, in Cologne, Germany. It is known to be a very light beer. See the color? Light. Um, it is known to be very easy drinking, and it is served to you, traditionally, in very small glasses, but in a lot of those glasses. At a, the, 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 apparently the tradition is that if you go to a Cologne brew garden or beer garden or, or uh, pub or beer drinking place, whatever they call those things in Cologne, and you order, order a Kolsch, they will continue to bring out Kolsch after Kolsch after Kolsch until you tell them, I've had enough. And I believe it's by putting your, your um, coaster on top of your glass to tell them that you're done. It's known for being a very light beer, for being relatively low ABV, but because of the, uh, the not deceptiveness, but the, the ease with which it is to be drunk in small quantities repeatedly, um, <laughs> those quantities add up. Anyways, uh, this particular Kolsch is by Ferment Brewing Company out of Hood River, Oregon, an excellent brewery. Um, and it is part of their bottom ferment series, which, let's see, to read the can, I need to trombone here. Aside from an old brewing term to describe a cooler, chiller lager fermentation, bottom ferment is a series of cans filled with experimental one-off and seasonable lagers. So it's a seasonal special lager series. Uh, bottom fermenting is how lager yeasts work typically, and it happens at lower temperatures and it typically takes longer. Um, I was just reading in the book on seasonal, seasonal beers by Johnny, uh, the Craft Beer Channel, um, <clears throat> that uh, the lagering process, it's like the traditional lagering process is very much slower because, the, because it happens at a lower temperature. Lower temperature uh, depresses the, the speed at which chemical and biological changes occur and so lagering yeasts work at lower temperatures but that lower temperature also means they work more slowly so um yeah interesting stuff the science of beer the more you know <laughs> um, and specifically this ferment kolsch is supposed to be a bright floral and refreshing beer made with german pilsner malt and a common combination of hollertau blanc strissel spalt and hull melon hops. It is fermented at cooler temperatures and it is cold conditioned. All that to mean it should be tasty, right? So let's try. It smells like a light Pilsner. Um, Pilsners already have a very dry kind of a cracker, um, you know, malt focus with a a touch of kind of herbal uh, maltiness or hoppiness, sorry, not maltiness, hoppiness, herbal hoppiness. Uh, and I definitely smell it here, but but lighter, which is what you would expect. So right on there. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Eh? Oh, sorry. And before I go into that, so it does mention the whole melon hops. There is definitely a hint of honeydew to the to the nose of this. Hmm. Yep. And it tastes like it smells. So that's a great thing. That's a very good thing. Um, it's a very clean, clean, um, crisp maltiness that kind of flows throughout, setting this nice foundation. Um, at the outset, there's maybe the hint of honey. So there's a, there's a sweetness to it. And then... Um, it goes through and you get this kind of grassy field and um, maybe a, a meadow with with some flowers and then you also do have kind of this 
this smooth, round, honeydew melon-like note that goes through as well. And it finishes with a nice uh, light bread, like a white bread, uh, just malty linger. And it's actually got quite uh, some, some decent legs. Like it's hanging around in my mouth. Considering, considering how light the beer is, it's hanging around in there with this kind of light bready and herbal maltiness. Or, <laughs> herbal maltiness. Malts aren't herbal. I mean, nothing to say they can't be, but it's the hops. The hops are the herbs. The hops are the herbs. The hops are the herbs. This herbal hoppiness is lingering around in my mouth. Even now, 10 seconds, 15 seconds later, it's still there. That's, that's quite nice considering how, how light the beer is. Uh, light doesn't mean thin, and that's a good thing in this case. I could really picture enjoying this um, on any warm day. It would stand up nicely with any sort of uh, deli sandwich, except possibly if you get a more strongly flavored sandwich, like maybe a, um, you know, a, a, a pumpernickel bread and corned beef and that kind of thing, that, that might be a bit too far. Or if you have, um, you, know, you put too strong a cheese or too much mustard. But if you're sticking to you know, deli cold cuts kind of stuff and mayonnaise and basic uh, yellow mustard, vegetables and, and that kind of stuff, I think this would go very nicely with that. Um, and just for the, the ease, the drinkability, yeah, I can see how a bunch of little glasses can add up really quickly with this to, uh, to inebriate you, even at very low ABVs. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. I generally like Kolsch's. Kolsch's are good beers. Kolsch's are very pleasant and enjoyable, particularly summer beers. Um, it is best drunk fresh, so if you're going to get a Kolsch, make sure it's you know, less than a couple months old, uh, bottling date at least. Um, they will, you will expect it to lose a lot of its, a lot of its delicate flavors um, due to poor storage or just the fact that beer is alive and it's still growing and changing. And the things that make it good, particularly when you're talking about craft beer, are delicate things that will fade and that's just that's just normal that's just how it is it's it's not the price of beer it's it's a good thing you know, don't store up the ones age the ones that are meant to be aged or that can age but know that most beers can't and shouldn't be like this one which i will uh quickly dispatch before it has much of a chance to age Anyways, this is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. Enjoying Ferment Brewing Company's Bottom Ferment Kolsch. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.